What's going on, guys? <laughs> now, this has been trending all over social media, man. There's a ton of articles that are being written about this. Apparently, unbeknownst to a lot of you who've been supporting Malika Andrews, she's been dating basically her co-worker, Dave McMenamin. And apparently they've been dating for a year and nobody knew it. Maybe because they didn't put it out there. Didn't want anybody to know because at the time she was relatively still trying to get a name for herself at the network. So this is this is trending all over social media last night. I find it to be hilarious that she takes basically took Rachel Nichols job. And y'all celebrated that only for her to <laughs> be in a whole relationship with this Caucasian man. I just found it to be very hilarious, right? You know, she's done her virtue signaling. I'm going to get into that because I've spoken about Malika Andrews before. She called out Kyrie Irving, right? She has stuff. She has something to say about Kyrie Irving. And she was upset that he didn't get the jab. And I, I made a video on that. I'll link it in the description box. But I always knew that I'd be speaking about her again. I always knew that something would occur that because something was a little bit off about her because ESPN was pushing her. And I didn't really understand this push. I understood that they thought she was, I guess, a talent. They were talking about how, oh, she's this black female, even though I believe she's biracial. I could be wrong. Y'all correct me. But it giving her all this hype and all this praise. But unbeknownst to any of you, she's <laughs> this Caucasian guy. Now, listen, all you males, especially, that's been hyping her up on social media, do not stop your support. I want you to continue to support her. They basically got rid of one redhead only for Malika Andrews to be dating a redhead. <laughs> Listen, do not stop your support. Y'all need to continue to support her like you've been doing, hyping her up on social media. I mean, you know, listen, man. I, I'm, What is it? And I will say this, too. The same thing I said about Carrie Champion. What is it about these sisters that go to ESPN, man, next thing you know they're dating Caucasian? <laughs> Carrie Champion was there barely a year at ESPN. She was uh, proudly putting out there that she was dating one of her Caucasian co-workers man listen do not stop your support continue to support like y'all been doing continue to hype her up talk about how she's better than rachel nichols right so continue to do that but let's get into this article leak andrews and dave dating rumors send nba twitter into a frenzy nba twitter was sent into a frenzy recently when rumors started that malika andrews and dave were dating uh, let's explore where they came from and if they're likely to be true. See, Malika and Dave are two of the most recognizable, well-known reporters in the NBA. Dave works for ESPN primarily as a beat writer and TV reporter covering the Los Angeles Lakers and the Cleveland Cavaliers. Malika is a journalist for ESPN and the host of NBA Today, which replaced the jump. Uh, on the 22nd of May, online rumors suggest that Malika and Dave were dating, sending social media into a frenzy. On Sunday night, rumors started circulating on Twitter that Malika and Dave were dating. The rumors appear to stem from a picture of the pair together at an event per image. Uh, Emma McIntyre, the image is from a premiere of Netflix, Colin black and white that's the irony of this because colin uh, of course is a biracial former nfl player but it's funny how you have these two at an event for colin kaepernick which again shows me <laughs> how pro-black a lot of these melanated women can be but they're sleeping white <laughs> i'm telling you right i mean and they're both at this event. Probably because Dave is a raging liberal, maybe. You know, Malika wants to prove her blackness. So they go to this event for Colin Cow. This is the whole irony of this. They were photographed at an event for Colin Kaepernick's black and white 
show or movie. And the image was tweeted by at the Lake Show, uh, at the Lake Show Yo, which has over two hundred thirty-four thousand followers, with the caption "Nah, someone tell me this ain't real." If this was from last year, how come we y'all just seen it now? Were you googling Malika Andrews and you came across this pic? Bro, ain't no way. Nah, this ain't right. Yes. <laughs> yes way, brother. No way. Ain't no way. Given the nature of the rumors, people wanted to know if Malika and Dave are boyfriend and girlfriend. While neither party has confirmed or denied the rumor, there has been no previous romantic link between the two. It doesn't have to. It doesn't have to. People hook up all the time. Listen, I don't care how single these women look on social media. They're hooking up with somebody. They're hooking up with somebody, whether it be a co-worker, whether it be a guy who they used to date in college or an ex-co-worker, right? Or a guy off Tinder. They're hooking up with somebody, okay? You're not going to see links because they don't want people knowing that they're dating each other. I mean, it's bad for Malika's brand if these, these, these black male simps are out here who are her main supporters and they think they 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 think they have a shot to date her they hold her up on this pedestal right only to find out she's dating somebody else that would be bad for her brand even though i don't think you guys who are devoutly been supporting her should stop um but you're never gonna know who these women are with because women are very good at hiding their relationships and keeping it secretive unless they want you to know the Twitter source is also somewhat questionable, like other well-followed NBA Twitter accounts. Uh, that one, I guess, Ball of Sports. At Lake Show Yo has built a big following with satirical and parodical content, which is usually entertaining, but not always necessarily true. With no previous reports of two dating, we should therefore take the rumors with a pinch of salt. I mean, we could do that. We could do that. But but knowing women like I know them, you're never going to know who they're with. You know, women are never like, listen, we there are some there are situations where you won't find out that a woman was dating a guy until way after the fact. The thing is, she could have been dating him for quite some time, but we would never know that. Right. And again, I honestly, I don't care who Malika's dating. The reason why I'm making this video is because people have such an issue with Bronny James. Y'all got such an issue with Bronny James. Y'all care about who Bronny James is with. So therefore, I'm going to bring this up because I find it very hypocritical that y'all get on Bronny James, a 17 year old, for going to the prom with a Caucasian girl. But you don't say nothing about Emma Smith's daughter going on a, to a prom with a Caucasian guy. And then you got Malika Andrews, who's an M who's a popular NBA sideline reporter, TV personality. And she's been dating this guy for a year, <laughs> allegedly. <laughs> but y'all want to go at Bronny James, man. Y'all got all this energy and all this smoke for Bronny James, man. This is where we at. Y'all got all this energy and smoke, but y'all don't call out these, these melanated women who are out here dating white y'all don't care it's not a big deal it's her choice well maybe it was Bronny james choice to date who he's dating or these other guys who date who they want to date and y'all tend to get in your feelings about it you dig now this is according to is game seven so Luke andrews and dave McMenna are two of the most prominent NBA personalities. The latter is a respected insider who has broken countless news stories relating to pretty much every team in the league, whereas the former hosts the network's most recognizable hoops program. This week, an interesting rumor about the two has emerged, and Twitter's talking. If Dave can land Malika effing Andrews, anything is possible for me. Oh, fuck. 
<laughs> oh man. <laughs> Uh, someone says Dave with Malika. Uh, let's see. Let's see that memes. MFs been together for a while. A, I guess it means a whole ass year and no one knew it for real. She mixed with them folk. I don't know why y'all be surprised when the product of swirling continues to swirl. Yeah, that's the thing, man. That's why. To me, it's more comical and ironic more so than, than any type of, oh, my God, look at this black woman dating a Caucasian guy. The woman is basically biracial. So, yeah, she may end up dating outside. You know, she I, to me, she's an Oreo. To me, she's a she's a mixed chick who I believe primarily has grown up around other Caucasian people. She really don't have that connection to black people. That's why I don't get this cult following that she has. He got to have the best personality because ain't no way. I guess Lev Reporter got game. No way. Well, you know, these guys don't have to have game, man. These Caucasian guys ain't got to have no game. Are you crazy? All they got to do is be white. <laughs> but seriously, but seriously, a lot of times, though, you know, you got an NBA player, you know, he has the tattoos, he has the, he's a professional athlete, right? Quote unquote swagger. See, these Caucasian guys don't have to have that. They can be a reporter, you know, they can have this regular job, that regular job. They don't have to be flashy. They don't have to be flashy. They can be themselves. They can be themselves, which again brings out the irony of this whole situation, you know. Malika Andrews trends like every weekend. Y'all love Malika Andrews. This is why I tell y'all, man, don't stop supporting her because you've been supporting her and her career and her trajectory. Just understand that, you know, she, you know, she, she don't see the world the same way y'all do. No matter what she says, no matter what Colin Kaepernick event she, she goes to, even though they have both have something in common, they're both mixed. She's going to date what she relates to. She relates to Caucasian people more. That's who she's going to date. Uh, it doesn't matter if she's wearing her hair a certain way or you, you think that she might like brothers. Maybe she do. I don't know, but not now. Not while she's in her prime. <laughs> while she's in her prime, she's going to be out here dating Brad. Okay. <laughs> so. Let me know what y'all think in the comment section below. Let me know your thoughts. Like this video and share it. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. I'll see y'all next one.